Hey there. This is just a short, quick breaking news video about artificial intelligence. But I'm going to explain this in plain, simple English, non technical. So, this is a, a, a short video about artificial intelligence, but in a way that you can quickly grasp everything and clearly see why this is breaking news. A short time ago, I created a worker. Now this worker, this particular worker is super, super, super intelligent. Its IQ is about 155. Now just keep in mind, Albert Einstein's IQ was about 160 or more. So this worker that I created, and if you notice, I keep saying created. I didn't say hired. I said created. So this worker that I created is super, super intelligent. So one of the first things that I did with the worker, like you would do in most situations, if you bring on an assistant or a new worker, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to train this new worker. So I trained this new worker to know everything about me and my business specifically about my business. So I'm going to share my screen with you real quick, just so we can meet this new worker. And because this new worker knows everything about me, you don't know anything about me. But I'm going to let the worker explain to you myself in detail, if that's the questions you, you choose to ask, or uh, if you want to know more about my business. So let's get, let's use in a quick, let's use a quick example. Imagine we're at a business function, a network, a business networking function, or let's say you're meeting new people through friends, family, and relatives during the holidays or something like that. Well, what normally happens is when you meet a new person at a, at a, at a function or a family gathering and you've never met them before, someone usually just says, Hey, hi, how you doing? And then you exchange names. And now you know the person's name and eventually the conversation leads to, well, what do you do? Okay. So right now you don't know very much about me. Um, you're watching this video most likely on LinkedIn and you can look at my profile and see, now uh, you see my name says KD, Wright. You see AI consultant. Uh, so you quickly, you know, gather and understand that most likely AI is artificial intelligence. You've heard artificial intelligence on the news. And now here's a demo so that you really see what the breaking news is. So the screen that you're looking at right now is how you would interact with my worker that I created. Now, if you look at the top left of the screen, you'll see a little picture. That picture can be changed. I, I could have used a robot looking thing, but then I just added my picture just to give it a human side, a more human element. Now, if you look in the little white box here, you'll see something that says, hello, innovator, let's journey into the world of AI together. Where shall we begin in our expl exploration? Click here to ask me anything. So now just imagine we're at a business networking function. What would be the first thing that you would ask someone? So keep in mind that this worker is super, super intelligent. So it's going to respond to you based on how we ask it questions. So just keep in mind that it knows everything about me and it knows everything about my business. And what I want you to focus on is how it responds to questions. Just really, really look at how detailed the explanations are. So we're gonna go with something very simple. We're just gonna start with, let's say we just say hi to this new worker. So right now, I'm going to play the part of you, and the new worker is, is, is basically going to play the part of me. Um, so let's see what happens when we just say hi. And we're going to focus on its response. Now, when I trained this worker, I did not specifically train this worker to respond with what words you see right there. It says, hello, I'm thrilled to assist you in leveraging AI technology for your organization. May I know your name, please? Now, 
I didn't train the the worker to specifically write those words. That's where the intelligence comes in. Now, one of the features that I have turned on is where did this answer come from? Now, this little feature can be turned on or off. I like to leave that on just so I can see and understand if this new worker, um, I want to understand where and how did this new worker come up with the answer. So when I click on where did this answer come from, you see that it came from a document, a PDF document. Now, I wrote this PDF document. If you look at the name of the PDF document, it says KD Wright, AI consultant, frequently asked questions. And I updated that document on 10 6 20 of 23. Now, what's so interesting about that is it's just showing you where that information came from. But nowhere in that information did I put, hello, I'm thrilled to assist you in leveraging AI technology for your organization. I never put that in there. So this is the intelligence, the artificial intelligence responding. Then if you look, it says, may I know your name? So we're going to go down here and say what our name is. I'm just going to say, my name is Joe. My name is Joe. Now, when I hit submit, pay attention and really look at and just see how this worker responds. My name is Joe. So, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. How can I assist you in leveraging AI technology for your organization today? Well, now just remember, I'm using an example of we're at a business networking function or a gathering of people and you're meeting people that you've never met before. Okay, that might seem a little weird that they've that I, you know, if you met someone at a party or something like that, you wouldn't just launch into how can I assist you in leveraging uh, AI technology. So I'm going to just keep it like we're at a, at a function. And I'm going to ask it, what do you do? Do you do? And let's see how it answers that. What do you do? Let's see what I kind of answer. This is a pretty broad question, but let's see. Remember, this worker works for me and knows everything about me, and it knows everything about my business. Now, if you look at this, it says it's responding to the question of what you do. As an AI consultant, I help organizations create AI chatbots, train on their unique private data. My goal is to ensure... Your unique data is utilized effectively to supercharge your ROI by 10x. I guide you through the process of integrating AI into your organization, making it both exciting and manageable. I also provide a dedicated support line for immediate concerns. Okay, so we keep on going. Moreover, I maintain a close relationship, blah, 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 blah. Now, let's get towards the end. Lastly, I stay abreast of the latest advancements in AI and will regularly provide recommendations on how your chatbot can benefit from these developments. Now look at this last sentence. Joe, could you tell me more about your organization's current state with AI technology? I did not specifically tell the worker to ask that question, but this worker is super, super, super intelligent. It knows exactly who I am because I trained it on exactly who I am, but more specifically, I trained it on exactly what I do. So now what this artificial intelligence does is it recognizes that it's speaking to someone that might potentially be a customer, but it's doing it with a more consultative approach. Yes, it's selling, but how is it selling? It's selling by asking questions, but look how, look how detailed and, and, superior that question is joe could you tell me more about your organization's current state with a, a with ai technology now look at it from your point of view you most likely work somewhere and you're working at some type of organization and wherever you work may or may not have implemented ai technology so 
did this new worker that I have, did it, did it come at you like a used car salesperson? And not that used car sales people are bad, but let's look at a used car salesperson as it's, as they're portrayed on television or, or a comedy. Well, they're going to try to hammer you with a sale or think of um, a, a salesperson who sells timeshare or something like that, where it's super high pressure. They want to get the sale. Okay. It would be a different type of question. It wouldn't be a consultative question. So when you look at how this worker, this artificial intelligent worker who knows specifically about my business, when you look at how the question is phrased, that's pretty, pretty, pretty intelligent. Joe, could you tell me more about your organization's current state with AI technology? Now, I'm going to just make up a response to this. I'm going to say that I'm a, um, let's just say this, uh, where I am currently working, AI is not used. Now, I have no idea how this artificial intelligence, my new worker, is going to respond to this, but let's see. Now, remember, what you're seeing right now, I did not specifically tell the worker to respond with those particular words. This new worker is super, super, super intelligent. So look at something as simple, as simple as I see Joe. So it's acknowledging that it understands Joe's particular situation. It's not uncommon for organizations to be in the early stages of AI adoption. The important thing is that you're you are considering it now. And I'm here to help guide you through this process. Okay, so you can read the you read the rest of it, the response is pretty, pretty, super, super intelligent. But let's look at the last sentence. So, 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 so critical. Can you share some of the challenges your organization is facing, is currently facing, that you believe AI could help address? Once again, is that a high pressure sales tactic? Is that something where uh, this new worker is going to hit you over the head and say, hey, buy my product, hey, buy my, buy my service. You need it, you need it, you need it. It's asking questions to find out exactly what, where, where my business and where we can help you. That's pretty, 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 super, 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 super intelligent. Now, let's click on where did this answer come from? Click on where did this answer come from? And once again, it's coming from a document that I used to train this new worker. But if you look, obviously you can't see the document, the PDF. I created that PDF document of frequently asked questions. When I look at how this new worker responded. Some of the information is in there, but this worker using its intelligence has come up with such a an awesome response that's so, so intelligent that it's really trying to understand this person that is talking to them and trying to understand their needs that they could possibly have. So this person that we just made up named Joe is looking at this and reading the response saying, wow, can I share some of the challenges uh, my, where I'm working that we're facing that I believe AI could help address? So 
let's make up something pretty common <clears throat> and let's just see um, how it responds at this point. I'm just going to make this up. Now, obviously, if you comment below this video, you can ask me and we can test it out and 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 see how it responds to different businesses. But what what the breaking news is, is I'm creating a worker, but this worker is super, super intelligent on anything and everything, anything and everything, every type of business, every type of product, every type of service. And when we help train this worker for each unique situation, it doesn't go outside of things or questions that don't have anything to do with what it's trained on. So let's say, for example, if I ask this new worker, hey, what's the weather in San Francisco? Well, let's see. Do you know the weather in, let's say, San Diego? Now, what does that have to do with what our conversation was so far? Absolutely nothing. Now, let's see how it responds. Now, it quickly, this worker is so super intelligent that it realizes, hey, this has absolutely nothing to do with what the conversation is, doesn't really compute it. So it says, hey, please text or email this question to KD Wright, which is me, throws my phone number in there or my email address, and KD Wright will get an answer for you ASAP. Okay, so now we can jump back into answering what the question was. Can you share some of the challenges your organization is currently facing that you believe AI could help address? So uh, I'm going to make up something just really, really quick. And uh, let's say I'm a manager. I'm a, let's say I'm a, I'm a department. Well, and spell. Let's see. I'm a department manager, and I am having trouble filling an open customer service position. Now, that's just a statement. It's not a question. So I could continue and add in, how can you help me just to be a little bit more clear? But let me just, you know, in a normal conversation, people just make a statement. They don't always ask a question. So after I asked about the weather in San Diego, they said, hey, you can email or uh, call or text uh, this person, KD Wright, which is me. Well, okay, so now let's say we get back into the conversation. I'm a department manager and I'm having trouble filling an open customer service position. Let's just see how it responds with just a general statement that kind of gives, kind of gives the worker this artificial intelligence an idea of what type of business that I'm in. Not really specific, but that I'm a department manager and that there's an open position. Let's see what happens now see how the artificial intelligence, this new worker that I created, respond. Now, let's look at this response. It doesn't have this, this new worker. Just imagine you're a new worker at a new place of business, they're going to assume that you know how to speak to potential customers. But here is this new worker that I created 
that's an artificial intelligence, but look at what it's adding in. I understand your situation. Th th this is a this is an artificial intelligent worker, and it's saying that they un that it understands your situation. Okay, now it's going to you know go into a little bit more detail. Filling open positions, especially in customer service, can be quite challenging. It involves significant time, effort, and resources. However, have you considered implementing a chatbot to help manage some of the workload? That's pretty impressive. Obviously, a human being like you or myself, we could do that. But look at the level of questioning. It's still trying to determine if this person named Joe is a potential customer or potential client. It doesn't know, but it's asking probing questions. Did I specifically tell this new worker that I created, did I specifically tell this worker to ask questions like that? N not necessarily, It, but it understands my business the way if you, if I explain my business to Albert Einstein, it's using super, super, super intelligent questioning, intelligent understanding. So let's go a little bit further. Chatbots can be a strategic solution to this problem. They can be scaled almost instantly to handle increased workloads without compromising on quality. In customer facing roles, I mean, look at that sentence. Look at that first part of that sentence. In customer facing roles, that's not inside of my frequently asked questions that I trained this worker on. But that's pretty good. Very, very, very impressive. In customer-facing roles, chatbots can provide instant responses, reduce waiting times, and enhance and enhancing the overall customer experience. Moreover, when you consider the cost associated with recruiting, training, and onboarding a new employee, they can be substantial. A chatbot once developed incurs no such recurring cost. It doesn't require health benefits, paid leave, or other associated employee expenses. Then look at this question that it asked. Would you like to learn more about how a chatbot could help your department? Now, that's pretty interesting. Now, let me change gears real quick, just so you can see how this new worker is extremely skillful. I also, now this is Joe speaking, I also own a small cafe restaurant. Can you help me with that also. Now, I'm switching gears here. First, my worker was responding to Joe as a department manager and having the challenge of filling an open position. Now, I'm going to switch gears and say, hey, well, I, okay, not only am I a department manager, I also own a small restaurant. Let's, and I'm kind of vague when I'm asking the question because I want to see how this new worker responds when there's a quick shift in what the person is asking, but still related to my business in terms of consulting with many different types of businesses, applying a an artificial worker, an AI worker. Let's see how my worker responds. Now, just keep in mind that if I were at a business function, this would be me responding and explaining stuff in detail. But the reason why I created this video and categorizing it as breaking news for artificial intelligence is so that you can really see the a, a, a great example of artificial intelligence at work. You're witnessing this right now. So now Joe says that he owns a small restaurant. So look at how the worker responds. Absolutely, AI chatbots can be incredibly, incredibly beneficial for small businesses like cafes and restaurants. They can handle tasks such as taking online orders, answer, 
answering cu customer inquiries about your menu or operating hours, and even managing reservations. This can free up your staff to focus on providing excellent in-person service. So look at the, that distinction. It's not saying that it's going to come in and take over your business. It's just saying that certain tasks can be handled by this type of worker that can be created, whereas other specific in-person services can be handled by your staff, by Joe's staff. And let's go a little bit more detail. Moreover, a chatbot can provide service around the clock, even when your cafe is closed. So just think about that. So right now, you're meeting my assistant, who happens to be super, super brilliant. And you can interact with my assistant 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And as we're typing into this right now to speak with my assistant, guess what? A hundred or a thousand people could be doing the same thing right now and multiple conversations can be handled at the same time. So not only is this worker that I've created understands my business and myself, it can speak and interact with multiple customers, potential customers at the same time, but responding at a level so detailed and so intelligent and so specific about what my service is. Super, super specific. So once again, let's look at that response at the end. Would you like to learn more about how a chatbot could specifically benefit your cafe? So now it's two completely different types of businesses. But look at how detailed the responses are. Very, very specific. Very, very detailed. Very, very intelligent. Let's click on where did this answer come from? It's coming from the same document that I trained my worker that I created. Now, so far, you're probably beginning to realize that there is some type of return on investment. Would you categorize that return on investment as 10x or more than 10x at this point? For me, when I look at my business, I'm looking at the way that this new worker is responding to dynamic situations for me specifically it's way more than 10x it's probably 100x or 1000x because of how many conversations can be maintained at the same time now let's go back to the explanation or the um the example of being at a business networking function okay so we're at a convention or something like that and i'm speaking to two people at the same time but guess what there's other people that could be looking to jump into the conversation i may not be able to reach everyone and speak to everyone there could be people that i didn't get a chance to speak with okay sure i can give them a business card and it has my name and phone number and probably my, you know, a, a website that they could go to and look for information. But look at, look at this. All of this information could be on my website and someone could go to my website and look and see, oh, this gentleman, KD Wright, he's an AI consultant. Okay. So you go to my website and it says something like, oh, 10 X return, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That might interest you a little bit. Uh, you might have a couple of questions. Um, okay, maybe you can email me. Okay, so now we're emailing back and forth. But look at this. this is this far more intelligent and superior than an email back and forth? Or uh, uh, a few text messages back and forth? Yes, I can respond to text messages. You can text message me. But if you wanted to dig in a little bit deeper and go into more detail about exactly how it can help a specific type of business that you may be in, or you're an employee at a company and you're trying to convince your company to, to implement some kind of artificial intelligence 
that could be an assistant to helping you do your job better, you can begin to see, well, what would that return on investment be? It's not 1x, it's not 2x, it's not 3x, it's definitely 10x. And it's, and it's in my specific example, it's 100x. But here's what I want to do next. I want to show you, I'm going to switch screens real quick and just show you something that, remember, I said this is an intelligence that has an IQ of about 155 to 160. So, and I also said that what you have to understand is it's super, 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 super intelligent. So it's going to respond how you ask questions. So I'm just asking basic questions. You might have some more detailed questions that I can't even think of. And I would need to know that this new worker can handle that. So I'm going to throw you a curveball. So I'm going to throw my worker a curveball, but I'm also throwing you a curveball to show you that this worker is super, super, super intelligent. So what I'm going to do is try to throw a curveball to the worker, but it's also a curveball to you because remember what I keep saying is it depends on what you're asking and how detailed you're asking. If you ask it simple, basic questions, it's going to respond with simple, basic answers. But if you start getting into the weeds and it relates to you trying to see if an AI can be implemented in your specific situation, this worker will get down into the weeds with you and really give you a clear, clear path of how it could specifically help your specific, specific situation. But let's throw this thing a curveball just so you can really, really, really see its intelligence. I'm going to jump into this other screen here. And if you look, I've already typed in something in English. I'm, a, I'm in, a, in, a, in, a, in a foreign language translator screen. So we're going to ask, we're going to ask my worker something in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm in a translation thing here. So let's say um, sometimes I... I speak Spanish and sometimes I tutor kids who do not speak English very well. Can you help Can you help me with this too? Okay. So if you look on the right hand side, you'll see that my my English sentence has been translated into Spanish. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to go back in and we're just going to attempt to speak to the my worker in Spanish. And let's see what happens. Now remember, I didn't prompt it and we didn't prompt it and ask it if it knew Spanish, but let's see if it does know Spanish. So there it is in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Went to the translator and let's see what it, what response it comes up with. Just give me a moment. I'm checking. And let's see how it responds. Because some of your situations someone may speak a different language. Now, look at this response. So what, keep in mind that this worker is speaking to someone else. Let's say it's speaking to three other people. And then all of a sudden, um, on my business card or wherever, they say, let me reach out to KD. And But, you know, English is their second language and they're more comfortable speaking Spanish. And they just type in there in Spanish and... 
my my worker speaks back to them in Spanish. Okay, so I don't know what this says, but I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and we're going to go back to the other screen. Let's jump back into the other screen here. And we're going to clear this out of here. And let's see what it did say in Spanish. Now it's translated and it says, of course, AI chatbots can be incredibly can be an incredibly useful tool to help you with your tutoring. They can be programmed to interact in multiple languages, including Spanish and English, and can help children practice and improve their language skills. Additionally, chatbots can be available 24-7, allowing children to practice at any time that is convenient for them. Would you like to know more about how a chatbot could benefit your private classes? Just think about that last sentence, how powerful that is. Not only was it trying to probe and ask questions about Joe being a department manager, trying to fill a position, and that Joe also earn, uh, uh, owns a small cafe, restaurant cafe, the worker addressed those first two situations, and then the worker addressed tutoring kids who don't know English and tutoring them in Spanish. Remember, this worker is super, super, super intelligent. Okay, let's throw it another curveball. We're going to go back in here and let's pick a different language. I'm going to pick, I don't know, let's say, let's say Japanese. I also have. my mother-in-law who is from Japan and speaks very little English. How Let's go into a little bit more detail. Specifically, how can you help me with this? Now, I don't speak Japanese. Here's the Japanese sentence. I'm going to copy it. We're going to go back over to the other screen. And we're going to go back to my worker who... is going to let's see how it responds we're trying to throw the curveball i'm also trying to throw you a curveball so that you see what the actual breaking news is so to really understand in plain english or spanish or japanese what what this worker that i created can do and how it's super 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 intelligent so now i'm going to paste in the japanese and let's see what happens OK, if I throw it a curveball that has something to do still with my business and what it's trained on, it's going to respond. OK, it's responding in Japanese. I don't know Japanese. I don't know Spanish. I don't know what that's saying. But what we're going to do is now, look, that's that's going on for a little bit there. So my worker that's working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year and can handle handle multiple simultaneous inputs at the same time. So now I'm going to click on where did this answer come from? Let's look and see where the answer is coming from. It's still coming from my frequently asked questions document that I trained it on, but I did not train it on Japanese. So now I'm going to highlight this Japanese and we're going to go back to the other screen and see exactly how it is speaking in Japanese to Joe's Japanese mother-in-law. Because she doesn't speak English very well. And let's say Joe and his mother-in-law are sitting there and he says, 
hey, mother-in-law, take a quick look. She looks and she recognizes it says, it's, you know, it's in Japanese and she can read Japanese. So let's see specifically what it says in Japanese. How did my worker respond in Japanese to whether or not it could help? Okay, so we're going to clear this out of here. And now we're in here. Pasted it in there. And let's see. AI chatbots are great tools to help people who have difficulty speaking English. Chatbot can provide translation from Japanese to English and vice versa. This will allow her, look how, look how specific that is, her, meaning Joe's mother-in-law, to improve her communication with English-speaking people. Plus, a chatbot is available 24-7. She's so she's so she's available whenever you need her. This is especially useful for communicating with family and friends who live in different time zones. Chatbots also provide consistent and error-free service. This is especially useful when learning a new language, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all of these features can help her participate more confidently in the English-speaking community. That's a pretty good response for a worker. So just think of workers that get hired in companies, whether they're hired to be your assistant, hired to be working side-by-side -side with you, just think of how this helps in many different multiple situations so many different situations so now let's go back to here so just think about it for a second let me well, let me go back to the other screen and we're going to we're going to try to throw the worker one more question before we end this this quick video demonstration and breaking news. So overall, you're really getting a better idea of why this video was created, why you're watching it as breaking news for artificial intelligence. And it's giving you a concrete, simple example that clearly shows that it's useful. There's a return on investment and a specific use for it that you can quickly relate to and apply it in many, many different situations. And you can really see how this new worker, because it is trained on my specific business and myself, it knows how to respond in many, 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 many different situations. So we're gonna try to throw it a quick little curveball here. And let's let's do this. What questions? Oh, let's do it. Do you have any more questions for me? So Joe is okay. So Joe is pretty, you know, happy about the responses it got on three different separate, totally unrelated situations. And now we're just gonna ask just a curveball question just to see how this worker would respond after responding um so di you know so so diligently with three different scenarios then let's just see a curveball comes in and says do you have any more questions for me so joe's just saying hey well, we'll yeah now now joe is you know lost because he asked a bunch of different questions and says okay well what else do you want to know about me basically and let's see how my worker responds to Joe when Joe just throws an off the wall question. And my worker says, Hey, Joe, yes, I do. Could you please share more about the specific challenges your organization is facing that led you to consider implementing AI solutions? Understanding these challenges will help me provide the most effective and tailored solutions for your needs. Let's look at where that answer came from. Once again, it's that same document, a frequently asked questions document. I did not specifically tell my worker how to respond to that particular question. It understands my business completely. It understands me completely. And it has a super, super, super high intellect. And it's putting things together that it, it is, is, is almost indescribable. That's why 
I created this video as a breaking news video for artificial intelligence and also making it a demo in plain English and Spanish and Japanese <laughs> so that you can really, really see a concrete example. Whereas when you see on the news or you read um, uh, on your phone as alerts come through or emails or any kind of stories that just pop up somewhere, and you hear someone mention artificial intelligence and you hear all the big names, Google's involved, companies like OpenAI, you hear individuals speaking about AI, but you can never really relate it to a particular situation. So now you can kind of see and, and just look at it this way. I have not explained very much to you about who I am or what my business is. I let the worker that I created explain my business to you. We can go into a little bit more detail. Uh, well, let's look at just says, could you, let me finish with this. Could you please share more information about the specific challenges your organization is facing? Okay, so I already answered that. We, are, we already kind of went into that a little bit you know, earlier. So let's say you just ask a question like this, who is a, D, oops, right. Let's see what it, kind of response it has to that. Now, remember, I haven't explained anything to you about myself. I'm letting this assistant, this worker, explain in detail about my background. Now, remember, you don't have to ask who am I or, you know, ask anything specifically about me. Let's see where this answer came from. Same thing, frequently asked questions. So you can go, you can read real quick a little bit more about myself. Um, but just look at how detailed. In essence, I am not just an AI consultant. I'm a visionary who understands the intersection of business technology and education. My multifaceted experience combined with my dedication to pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI makes me an invalu invaluable asset for any organization looking to harness the power of AI. I didn't specifically say to respond with those specific words. Um, this worker, this artificial intelligence, is super, super, super intelligent, super high IQ. It puts things together that you may not have readily come to put it together yourself. Um, but at least now you have a quick example of what I'm calling breaking news about AI with really simple explanation of uh, without all the technical stuff, I didn't mention anything technical. I didn't mention anything behind the scenes or how it's doing it, what it's doing. But in the end, you got a, 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 a quick demonstration of what a worker, which would actually be an AI worker or an artificially intelligent worker, can do when trained on specific information about a specific person and a specific type of business. Now, it could be trained on any type of business, on any on any type of person, in any type of situation, no matter what the business, no matter what the function, no matter what. But it's super, 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 I know I keep repeating myself, super intelligent. And if you have any more questions or you want to see it in action a little bit more, um, the best thing to do is, well, you can put some of the questions uh, in the comment section of this video, which is going to be on LinkedIn and maybe YouTube later on. Um, that's about it. But any questions, comments um, that you want to, you want me to focus on or ask this worker, just let me know. You want to, you want to ask it questions on your own, just send me a message and I'll send you the link so that you can 
go specifically and just ask questions of this worker that work that 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 I created. And just remember, super, super powerful, super, super intelligent. This is raking artificial intelligent news. And um, let's ask one last question. How long has this type of solution existed? Existed. I'm just trying to throw it a curveball. I don't know what answer is going to come out of this. Now, it digs in a little bit deeper and gets a little bit technical because it's revealing some of the terms and the of how it's doing what it's doing. So the type of solution I specialize in, which involves creating AI chatbots, okay, technical term, used advanced models like OpenAI's GPT-4. Okay, if you're just a non-technical person, okay, that's a whole bunch of gobbledygook and you hear it but you don't really know what it means it's, and it has been around since the public release of chat gpt in december 22 when gpt4 was unveiled in march 23 2023 um, i was among the first to delve into its capabilities so this type of solution has been available close to one close to a year now it's a relatively new field, but it's rapidly evolving and holds immense potential. So the reason why I wanted to see how that answered, I was trying to throw the curveball, but I wanted you to see exactly how it responded. So when you're hearing all this stuff about artificial intelligence and you might think, oh, it's been around for a while, I'm kind of late. What, what, what this answer is showing you is that this particular application the way I'm applying artificial intelligence in this particular manner is extremely new. As you can see, it's a relatively new field, but it's rapidly evolving and holds immense potential. This type of solution has been available for close to a year now. So are there any experts at this? Yes, there's probably a handful. Are there thousands of experts? No. Are you late to understanding this? No. Are you late to implementing and using this? No. It's been available for close to a year now. It, it, it doesn't say five years, three years, 10 years. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to bring this video to a close. It was a pleasure covering all this with you in just a really basic manner and just explaining to you that this is truly breaking news, artificial intelligence news, and it's done in a simple way so that you can just see a clear demonstration of, of how intelligent a worker that's created, how intelligent that worker can be under a variety of circumstances. And once again, my name is K.D. Wright. I'm an AI consultant. And feel free to reach out to me or connect with me on LinkedIn or my YouTube channel. Everything will be in the comment section below. And please feel free to uh, like and share this video. And definitely feel free to comment and ask me questions. And you can always uh, send me a direct message. And I will give you the link if you want to speak directly to this particular worker who is on my team. Thank you again and have a great day.